Hello, my name is Scott. I'm going to teach you to learn how to play the guitar today. And the good thing about this is we don't have to know how to read any kind of books. We don't have to do anything like that. We don't have to paint our fingernails orange, green, and purple to learn how to play like all the other people try to teach you. Okay? <laughs> so what we're going to learn to play is um, all of your uh, favorite songs and all the favorite songs that uh, I grew up with. I'm like 195 years old now. <laughs> but uh, you'll get songs like um, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star and we'll get stuff like uh, This Old Man which is also uh, the Barney song. <laughs> they are exactly the same song. I'll teach you all these. Like When I was a kid, that was called This Old Man, He Plays One, He Plays... Now it's I love you, you love me. <laughs> Whole different song. And we'll learn how to play, you know, like I said, we're going to do a hissy bitsy spider and all kinds of stuff. We'll be doing Christmas songs like Joy to the World. be all very easy. See, I'm even playing, oh, one of my first little guitars. Uh, I've got the big boy guitars sitting in the house somewhere, but I'm going to be playing the little ones just the same as you guys, okay? <laughs> so, again, my name is Scott, and I'll teach you how to play. Um, I'll teach you how to maybe even tune your guitar. <laughs> you might want a grown-up to actually do that for you, because uh, there is a little risk involved in getting them because if you tighten them too tight they're going to break on you you don't want them to break okay so you might ask a grown-up to help you tune your guitar and uh, if any grown-ups are looking at this right now they do make little electronic guitar tuners like this you can find them at your local music store or your Walmarts or anything they're like fifteen dollars they have a built-in microphone right here and if you play your guitar it will actually show you with a little display on here when the guitar string is in tune. So you might want to pick those up for about $15. Okay, so again, today we're going to learn how to play. I hope you have a guitar pick. <laughs> you're going to need one of those, and you're just going to need a guitar. Uh, any guitar will do fine. And what you want to look for, uh, for the parents who are getting uh, the guitars, even if they're small like this, that's fine. But a lot of them are made really, really bad. This one is actually made very good um, for what it is. Uh, you want the strings to be really, really low to the neck. This is the neck of the guitar, the long part, so that, you know, we don't have to press real hard on the strings. Otherwise, that's good. it hurts too much if you have to press on them too hard. So you want to make sure that the strings are really, really low and close to the neck, okay? At least on the first few frets. We're only going to be playing on a few strings today and only in this area of the guitar. So you want to make it really easy to play because they're going to have, you guys are going to have to play uh, way down here and not want to press really hard. So find a guitar that's not very hard to play at all. Uh, the grown-ups can try to play it and see if, if it hurts your fingers. It's going to hurt, you know, <laughs> it's going to hurt the rest of our fingers. So once again, my name is Scott. We're going to learn how to play all these songs without having to look at any kind of books, without having to learn the names of the notes or anything today. This is all strictly about fun and just learning how to play some of your favorite songs. Okay, so we're going to get into this. Uh, we have a whole hour worth of stuff to do, and you can stop it and start it and pause it and come back another day. Just whenever you feel like playing, no pressure, okay? So this will be my very, very first uh, lessons for kids. 
And I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm the biggest kid there is around, so <laughs> we're going to have fun. Heck, look at my shoes I wear. Aren't those beautiful? <laughs> you know I'm a big kid. So I'll see you guys in just a little bit, all right? Bye-bye. Okay, we're back. Okay, I told you guys, um, we're going to have to get your guitar in tune first. So, what that means is your strings have to be tightened up to the same as mine are. So, um, if you have the guitar tuner that I was talking about, great. Um, it will tell you in the instruction book or tell your um, parents or whoever that it's going to help you uh, tune your guitar on how to do that. Um, if not, what you have to do is match your strings sound up to mine, okay? So you got the big string right here on top. Yours needs to be sounding just like that. Now what you do, these are called keys up here. That's what tunes the guitar. You don't want to crank them all over the place because that will break your strings. So what you actually want to do is make your strings the same note as mine are. So this here is actually called an E string. You don't have to remember that for this lesson, but it's also called your sixth string. Okay, you have six strings on a guitar, and they are actually numbered starting from the skinniest one down here: one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's how I'll be talking about them. I'll be calling them off number one through six for the rest of the lessons. Okay. So you don't need to know the names of all this stuff right now. This is all about fun. <laughs> this is not school or nothing. So we're just going to go one through six. So on your number six string, you want it to sound like that. So in order to make a, if yours it does not sound like that, if, it, if yours is lower than that, like way down here, you want to tune it up to mine. I'll keep hitting it. So you keep tightening it just a little at a time until it sounds just like this one. So I'll keep playing that. So either tighten or loosen that a little at a time. And like I said, have a grown up help with this. So this is string number six. We'll do that with all of them. We'll tighten them or loosen them until they're the same as mine. Okay? So here's string number five. If you want to know, this is also called an A string. So tighten or loosen until it gets to the same, what they call pitch as my fifth string, my string number five, or my A string. Okay, now we're going to string number four. Same thing. If you need to... I'm just really good at doing this. I've been doing it for a hundred and something years. <laughs> that's why I do it so quick. So that's what it should be tuned to. Now we really got to concentrate on these four that are coming up, including this one, because these are the strings we're going to be playing on today. We actually won't be playing on the t five and six string today, but we will be playing on one, two, three, and four strings. Okay, now we're going down to the next string, your string number three or your G string. So again, either tighten or loosen the key. These are keys. So you tighten them or loosen them until they are the same tone or the same pitch as you're hearing now. Okay, we're going to string number two 
or your B string. Just like the letter B. And finally, string number one is also an E string. We had an E string way up there, that big one. This here is also called an E string. This is just your monster E string. Then we get. <laughs> okay, so hopefully we're all in tune now. Now, if you want to use a guitar pick, that's fine. If you don't want to, that's fine too. For those of you who are going to use one, uh, you basically just hold it like this. So it's between your thumb and your finger you point with, your pointy finger. Ooh, like that. <laughs> okay, so you just hold it between those two. And you want the big pointy end, not the big fat end. <laughs> you want the pointy end sticking out. And that's the part that is actually going to touch your guitar strings. And to show you how it does that, yeah, I'll go on string number one and I'm going on top of it like this. And you either play up or down depending on you know which way I tell you or which way you want to go. Uh, there's no real rules in music so you do it the way that is most comfortable for you. If you want to pick up like this Pick up like that. If you want to pick down, pick down. If you want to play with your fingers, play with your fingers. Because <laughs> sometimes your pick gets lost down inside the hole in your guitar. <laughs> and you got to turn it upside down and shake it and try to get your pick to fall out. You can get it out. <laughs> but it'll happen a whole lot. Okay? So that's how you play with a pick. Okay, now here's the part that makes it weird. Um, you have this bottom part of your hand right here where your pinky is. So this part right here. Okay, what we want to do, um, this on the guitar is called a bridge. Um, we won't mess with whole names of parts of guitars for a whole bunch. But the best thing you can actually do is put, put this old fat part of your hand here on top of that bridge. Okay, just set it right on there. Not on top of your strings put just on top of that bridge and that way your hand ain't flying all over the place and you're doing like that like we've been playing with the guitar forever uh, that might be music to some people today but not to everybody and that's not what we're doing today <laughs> okay so what we want to do is put our hand right there on the bridge and now we don't ever take our hand off there it stays there all the time so the only thing that's actually moving is your wrist. So it's just your wrist going up and down like this. So if we wanted to play string one up and down with that part of the pick I told you and you can see my hand setting right on top of that bridge that way your arm isn't going everywhere. It has some place to be. So when we get to playing stuff See, the only thing that's moving is my wrist. Okay, so that's the song we'll actually start off with today is Itsy Bitsy Spider. Uh, it's just a good song. It uses uh, three of our strings. We're going to use strings number two, three, and four. So these strings, two, three, and four, are the strings we're going to be using. Now here's the part that gets kind of hard for some people. Um, these are called frets, these metal bars that go across here on the neck of your guitar. These are actually, when you press down right behind them, not on top of them, but right behind them. Okay, 
So that's what changes the tone of your notes. Okay, so I'm going to go on string number three to show you how to do this. So string number one, two, three. So string number three. Rest your hand back there on the bridge. Okay, so here we have, pretend that I don't even have a fret here. Some do, some don't, but pretend it don't exist for this particular video, okay? So we're gonna start with this being first, our first fret. Number one fret, fret number two, fret number three, and that's all we're gonna need is our first three frets today, is one, two, three. We don't need this up here. This is called your nut. Just like a squirrel in a nut. <laughs> that plastic piece. I don't know why they call it that, but that's what it's called. It's called a nut. Okay, so let's play that G string, or string number three. And I want you to take a finger. Let's use your middle finger, okay? And I want you to put it on, right behind fret number two. So you got fret one, fret two. You don't want to push down right on top of it. You want to go behind it the other way, up towards the top of the guitar, okay? If you go too far behind it, it does that. If you go right behind it, you, you'll hear the note. If you go on top of it, uh-oh, that sounds wrong. <laughs> okay, so you just want to go right behind it, and you only want to push down with your middle finger as hard as you have to to make the note happen. So I'm not pushing. I'm pushing harder, harder, just enough that it does that. What's gonna happen? Look at the end of my finger. Ow. It is gonna hurt for some reason at first, but after you play longer and longer and longer, the hurt goes away. You build up what are called calluses on the ends of your fingers, and then it will never hurt again. So if you keep practicing, um, the hurt will go away. If you practice every day, the hurt will go away in about one week. So you gotta put at least a week's worth of time into this before you ever think about giving up, okay? So if you get lines like that, that's nothing. You get lines worse than that when you take a bath. You stay in the water too long and your fingers get like all them lines in it. That's cool. <laughs> so this is cool too. The more lines you have, it means you, the more you've been practicing. See? So even at my age, I get lines in my fingers, too. Okay. So we're playing down with our pick on string number three and going to fret number two on string number three. Now, watch me. So you can hear the different notes. So we can do that. Now the main key to making everything happen is see how my finger, this is called an arch. Why? I don't know, who cares? <laughs> but we have to um, use the very tips of our fingers, not the side of our fingers, uh, not the upside down part of our fingers, well, no. <laughs> we gotta use the very tips. Just like if you're touching somebody, I'm touching you, I'm touching you. You have to do that to your guitar. Okay, so all your fingers, we're going to be using finger number one, finger number two, finger number three. Just like when you're counting, I will call them off that way. So if I say your first finger or finger number one, that's that. If it's finger number two, that's that, middle one. Finger number three, that's the next one that comes up. So it's one, two, and three. Those are the fingers we're going to use. Okay? So what we're going to do is play itsy bitsy spider climbs up the water spout. Okay, so here's how it sounds, in case you've never heard it before, which I can't imagine. Okay, so that's how it goes. And if you don't know the words, um, here they are. I'll actually put them out there for you. You can sing along with me. And sing along when you're uh, playing, too, because it will help you know if you're playing it right. So it goes, The itsy bitsy spider 
climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Down came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider climbed up the spout again. Okay. So you know that song, you sit there, the itsy bitsy spider. I've been singing that song for, oh, at least 70 years. <laughs> it's just a great song. So here's how we play it. We go to string number four. One, two, three, four. And we play it with nothing on it. You don't even have to put any fingers on your guitar. So you play that note with your pick down on string number four. One time. And then we play string number three with nothing on it. Two times. So you got this. One time on string number four, two times on string number three. Okay, now we're going to add another one. Okay, so we're going to do three times now on string number three. The itsy bit. That's as far as we get. Now we actually got to do some work. We have to go put your middle finger or finger number two on fret number two, one, two, on your third string or string number three. So one, two, three, and put it right there and make sure the note works. If you get this note, you're not just pressing hard enough, so just press harder until it works. Again, look where my finger is at. It's not on top of there, it's just right behind it. Okay, up towards the top of your guitar. So fret number two. Okay, so again from the beginning. One time on string number four. Now string number three. That's how it's going to be sounding. The itsy bit C. Okay, that's how we're going to get C. The itsy bit C is by pushing down on fret number two with finger number two on string number three. <laughs> we got all that? Now we play string number two two times with nothing on it. And now that is the first part of playing your guitar. So if you have that much down, we're going to be good. Check it out. Hey, we already got a song going. <laughs> okay. So the only thing we actually had to do is, I call this fretting a guitar. That's what they call it because there's frets on it. So whenever you're pushing on it, you're actually fretting. F-R-E-T-T-I-N-G. It's a big word. What it means is that you're putting your finger by the fret. If, if you run, then you're running. If you have a fret and you put something by it, then you're fretting. Okay? So, we are fretting the note only one time so far. Again, string number four, one time. String number three, three times. Then we go, we fret string number three on the second fret and play that note one time. And then we get rid of it and then we play string number two two times. Okay, so again, everything is just with your pick down. Okay, so from there, as long as you know how the song goes, this will all make sense to you and it'll sound right. That's what we got to get next. So we have to hit string number two one more time. Okay, and this here's going to be went up the water spout. So we have to go. That's what we're going to do. Went up the water spout. So we hit string number two. And then back to the same note we played before. 
on string number three and you're going to be fretting it with your middle finger or finger number two right here on fret number two and we're going to take it off and on and off so again it's string number two then we play here again where we've already done it one time take it off play string number three all by itself put it back on play it again okay so from there we have then we play string number two and then string number three okay so that part of it so that's the second part when up the water spout okay so okay so from the very beginning that's the first part see how this works now we're going to start using all our other fingers and some other things so work on that part make sure you get it to sound just like this song sing along with it the itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout see even i mess up <laughs> again the itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout again look down here my hand is still staying here you just play with your hand just staying right where it's at but you only move your wrist or just enough of your fingers to make things happen you don't want to do this that's only on TV guitar is not played like that <laughs> this is the real way to play okay so once again from the beginning now we get to do down came the rain and wash the spider out and I'll show you how it looks cool thing about this part is all played on one string and that's string number two this one right here all this one is all played there but you got to do some extra work here we're not going to use finger number two we're going to use fingers one and three this time okay so to play out came the rain or down came the rain and washed the spider out I got a bird flying overhead <laughs> And if you hear water, yeah, there's a waterfall behind me too. Okay, so down came the rain and washed the spider out. That is all, like I said, on string number two. Everything is played there, so you get to play everything on string number two with your pick. So we go two times. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. That's how it's going to go. So to do that, again, we do string number two twice. Down came the... Okay, to do that, this is on fret number one with finger number one. So again, your finger has to look like this because you have to play with the very tip of your finger. If you don't, you get all that garbage. <laughs> okay, so again, fret number one, not on top of it. No, that's garbage. So we want to play right here, right behind it, with the tip of your finger. Okay, so two times on fret or string number two. And then we use finger number one, fret number one. Everything's going to be on string number two now. Down came the rain. So now we're using finger number three on fret number three. Like I said, I won't have to tell you what string it's on because they're all on string number two. So, this is where it gets hard. Why can't you play it all with one finger? Uh, because I don't want you to. Because <laughs> you could go. Um, you can do it that way if you have to, but I would rather, if you would, 
for me, please, 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 please. <laughs> Just to play it this way. So two times on string number two. One time fretting it. Fretting, remember that word? On fret number one with finger number one. And then we're going to fret number three with string number three. Again, using the tip of your finger. Okay? And you hit it twice. Okay? So it's down came the rain and wash the spider out is where we're going. Down came the rain and back to here, number one, fret number one, washed. Now get rid of it. The put it back on. Spider up to number three and by itself again out so it's down came the rain and wash the spider out okay without me singing it will be okay so that's how that goes so Let's try it for all from the beginning. We've got more to go on this. So we had, if you remember. Right? Now the part we just did. We're all about halfway done. Okay? So again, if we can do it all together, you can go back and rewind this and go back a little bit and check this out from the beginning. Now we go. Here's how this goes. Um, we rain and wash the spider out. Okay, this here's the out came the sun and dried up all the rain and we'll get to that part. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain and that's the part we're getting to. So that's string number three. Out came the we know this one already, don't we? Our middle finger, our finger number two. We're playing on string number three. But we're going to use our number two finger on our number two fret. Okay? Then out came the... So you push it down on the word the on fret number two. Out came the... Then string number two. Sun and... So you play that twice. Out came the sun and back to here. Dried up all. So that is fret number two on string number three. Dried up all. So you're taking it off, putting it back on. Dried up all. String number two by itself. The rain. So string number two string number three by themselves and then string number four by itself okay so out came the sun and dried up all the rain and then we hit it again the itsy bitsy spider climbed up the spout again and then we're going to be done. Okay, so the part again we just did. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And uh, you got to hit it twice on string number four. And uh, I can't sing that low. 
and the itsy bitsy. We're back on string number three, doing everything you know how to do already. Itsy bitsy. Right there again on fret number two with finger number two on string three. And the itsy bitsy. String number two. Spider twice went. You get to do it three times all together. The itsy bitsy spider climbed. Here's this note again. Up the spout. So on, off, on. Up the spout. Again. So string number two and string number three, and we're done. Okay. Uh, it's the busy spider climbed up the spout again. So that is the whole song. Okay. So that will take some time. But learn each little part, and then stop, and then learn the next part, put them all together. So it's just like a little puzzle, you just put it together piece by piece. So from the beginning, I'll just play it. Now the next part. That's it. And if you get that part, uh, sing along with it. It makes it so much easier. Let's sing together, okay? And we'll play it together and sing it together. When you've got it all together, come right back to this part of the video and we'll do it together. And it goes like this. You ready? One, two, three. The itty bitty spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. <laughs> Let me get that. <laughs> Down out came the rain and washed the spider out. See, even I forget. Then out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And it's the bitsy spider. Climbed up the spout again. Okay? So one more time, just for fun. And let's do it faster, if you can do it. The itsy bitsy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Down came the sun and dried up all the rain. our first song. So that's how you do it. <laughs> you should be proud. Even if that takes you a couple weeks, that's fine. Work on a little bit at a time, okay? So that's all you gotta do is just work a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit at a time. And we'll get there. And if your fingers are sore, that's okay. Like I said, in about a week, if you practice every day, see my fingers, they got lines in them. Uh, that's just all what it's about. If you play the piano, your fingers get sore too. No matter what you play, something's going to get sore. If you were to play a uh, saxophone where you got to blow into it. <laughs> I'm getting spit on the guitar. That's okay. <clears throat> if you play saxophone or a horn or a trumpet, your lips get sore. So everything gets sore, but then the soreness goes away. The more you play the easier it gets. It won't hurt as much. So the more you play, 
the hurt goes away. The more you don't play, it's going to keep hurting. So play so much that the hurting goes away finally. Okay? So that is uh, how you make the hurt go away. You keep playing. Okay? Once again, remember that. The more you play, the faster the hurt goes away. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go to our next song. And this will be uh, This Old Man or the Barney song. They are exactly the same song. Depends on uh, what words you want to sing. We can go, this old man, he played three, he played knick-knack on my knee with a big act. patty whack, give your dog a bone, this old man came rolling home. Or, if you're a Barney fan, I love you, you love me, we're a happy family with a great big hug and a kiss from me to you. Won't, won't you say you love me too? They are exactly the same song. <laughs> okay, so whichever way you want to go with it. And here's how we go. Okay, we're going to go with our third finger being that finger right there. One, two, three. Third finger is going to start on fret number three. One, two, three. Not on it, like I said, but right behind it, like we're supposed to do. So just like that, make sure it's arched. And let's make sure we have our hand back here where it's supposed to be, so it's not going all over the place. Okay? Remember, we don't go... That's a no-no. <laughs> that just scratches up your guitars. Okay? <laughs> we don't need that. See, mine is cool. It's got fire on it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> My guitar is on fire. And just to let you know, it can be on fire if you want to. Later on, you can play like this. So your guitar will be able to make all that kind of cool stuff later on. We just got to get through this stuff first. <laughs> See, so you have all that to learn and look forward to, and then you can get an electric guitar and plug it in and be loud and grow your hair long and jump on stage and jump around. And that's all kinds of fun. I did that. <laughs> I did that for a long time. I was here when the dinosaurs were around. Don't forget. Okay, so this old man or Barney, whichever you want to call it, is like this. Okay, so that's how it goes at the beginning. So we're on string number two, string one, string number two. But we are using your third fingers at the third fret. Okay, so we start with it on there. We played. That's our first three notes. So you have it on there, take it off, and then put it back on. So. I'll go ahead and sing the Barney words. You guys are probably more familiar with that. And then I'll sing the other words later. So, I love you. You love me. Hey, how cool is that? We get to do the same thing twice. <laughs> I love you. You love me. Okay, so that's the way that's played. She says, on, off, on. On, off, on. All on string number two. Now we're going to play string number one all by itself. Okay, so we have this. Then string number one all by itself. And then we're putting our finger back where we started on string number two on fret number three. So we have. We gotta go to that one. So we're still on string number two, but now we're playing the first fret with our first finger. See how it is? 
It's all bent up and all wrinkly looking. <laughs> Number one, because I'm getting older and everything gets wrinkly. Plus, I just took a bath, so I'm wrinkly too. So. Okay. Now we get to play string number two all by itself. So, I love you, you love me, we're a happy. What do we do now? Family. We gotta find that. Okay, we played this in the first song. In the Itty Bitty Spider, so we're back to that note. So on string number three, but we're gonna use finger number two on fret number two. Okay, so we have to play that one. Make sure your sounds like that and your guitar is still in tune. Okay, so we got. See, I love this, I love you, you love me. We're a happy family. So you after that one. Family. We play string number two again, all by itself. So after fam -ly. Then we use finger number one on fret number one on string two. So, I love you, you love me, we're a happy family. Okay, now here comes the fun part. With a great big hug and a kiss from me to you, won't you say you love me? Okay, so we're halfway through it already. Can you believe it? It's getting easier, huh? Okay. So we got up to the we're a happy, we're a, we're a happy family. Now we gotta go with a great big hug. Let's do that much. With a great big hug. And that's all done on string number two. All by itself. With a great okay so anyway that much of it's on string number two with a great but we have to go with a great all three different notes so string number two then same string with fret number one finger number one fret number three finger number three with a great with a great now we do string number three by itself Big hug and a kiss. It does all those all by itself with a great big hug and a kiss. All the way to kiss. All the way to the word kiss. Kiss, kiss, kiss. So with a great big hug and a kiss from, from, from me to you. It's actually going to go to the word from. All those notes, a whole bunch of them. You guys are getting off easy. With a great big hug and a kiss from me to you. Now you gotta play again. <laughs> okay, so again. With a great big hug and a kiss from me to you. Okay. So, with a great big hug and a kiss from me, the word me, you have to put on the G, on the G string or your third string again, number two finger, number two fret. So, with a great big hug and a kiss from me, from me to you. That is string number two by itself. To you. And then number one fret, number one finger. We're on string number two still. So, with a great big hug and a kiss from me to you. How easy is that? Okay, here comes the end of it. One more time on that one. With a great big hug and a kiss from me to you. Oh, 
<laughs> I screwed up. I messed it all up. No, no, no. Okay, again. With, with a great big hug and a kiss from me to you. Okay? That's how it goes. With a, with a great big hug and a kiss from me to you. Now it's, won't you say you love me too? This is the hardest part of the song right here. Okay, so won't you say you love me too? Lots of notes. So we're on string number two. Won't is third finger. So it's finger number three, fret number three. But we're on string number two. Won't you say... Okay, that is back on string number three with finger number two, fret number two. So, won't you say... You play that twice. Won't you say... So for you and say, those words. Won't you say... Back to string number two, finger number one, fret number one. You... Won't you say... You take it off. String number two. Love. Finger two. Fret two. String number three. Me. Then string number three all by itself, and we're done. Two. So with a great big hug and a kiss from me to you. Won't you say? And again, if you know the other song too, This Old Man, it's all This old man, he played one, he played knick-knack on my thumb. <laughs> With a knick-knack paddywhack, give your dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. It's exactly the same music. So whichever song you want to sing to it, it is the same song. So back to I Love You from the Barney thing. Um, uh, um, I love... Okay, so together, we'll st start from the very beginning. Um, the best thing to do is probably go back and learn all the parts little by little, then come right back to this part and play and sing with me, okay? So the whole thing... See, I'm waiting for you to go do that. <laughs> okay, now that you're back. Uh, okay, here we go. One, two, three, four. I love you. You love me. We're a happy family. With a great big hug and a kiss from me to you. Okay, so if you need to watch, uh, watch me kick the camera over, you can watch me. Again, keep your hand way down here. I love you, you love me, we're a happy family, with a great big, big hug, there's me, and a kiss from me. So your fingers hardly move. All that stuff, that's pretend. <laughs> okay, so you keep your fingers, your hand right there. Okay, just like I showed you earlier. Just keep it right there. Okay, so your fingers are just doing all that work. I love you, you love me. We're a happy family with a great big hug and a kiss from me to you. Won't you say you love me? Everything stays right there. Okay? So we'll come down here one more time. And we'll do it nice and close. So I'll bring the camera closer so you can see just what this hand is doing. Okay? So I'll put it really, 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 really close. Okay. Here we go.
One, two, you better sing along or I'm going to count to four and have to sing all by myself again. You don't want to hear that, so sing along with me the Barney song. One, two, three, four. I love you, you love me. We're a happy family with a great big hug and a kiss from me to you. Won't you say you love me too? Okay, you guys ready to do another song? Well, let's get ready for it. Okay, guys, we're ready for another song. We're going to do Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. This is one of my favorites. Okay? And to show you how this one's played, it will actually go like this. You can watch. <laughs> and that's about it. See, even old people mess up. <laughs> okay. So if you know the words, one time just for fun, sing along. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. <laughs> okay, so that's what we're going to do. Very easy to play. You'll like this one. Okay, so what we do is string number three two times all by itself. So twinkle, now for twinkle, we do string number two. So we're going to go finger number three, fret number three. Okay? And play that one twice. So we got twinkle, twinkle. Now we need little, which is string number one all by itself, two times. So everything is two times so far. Okay? So twinkle, twinkle, little star. So for the word star, you just put your finger number three, fret number three, back down there again, okay? On string number two. So we have twinkle, twinkle. That's the note you'll come back to. Little star. Now we need how I wonder what you are. That is string number two, finger number one, fret number one. How I twice, then get rid of it. Wonder. That's string number two all by itself. So it's how I wonder. Now we go to string number three, finger number two, fret number two. What you are. That's string number three all by itself for R. So how I wonder. So, how I wonder what you are. I'll catch up with you guys in a second. You're probably ahead of me by now. <laughs> okay? So, from beginning, twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Now, here's where it gets real easy because the same thing over and over again. It's up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. They're played exactly the same, both these parts, and you've already played these parts. So, up above the world so high, 
I bet you can already figure that out. That's string number two. Of course, same as always. Finger number three, fret number three. Uh, oh, oh, up above the... What is it? Finger number one, fret number one. We're still on string number two on all this. So, up, uh, you can have both of them on there if you want, ready to go. <laughs> both fingers like this. Up above the... So you just lift one off and it's right there. That's up to you. So here we go. Up above the world so... That's just both of them. Just playing both notes on string number two. Up above the world so high. That's the only time you have to go to string number three is for the word high. And that, again, is like always. Fret number two, finger number two. So up above the world so high. Now exactly the same thing, just different words. Like the diamond in the sky. See, they're very same. One more time. Up above the world so high. Like a diamond in the sky. Now we actually start from the beginning again with the string number three. Twinkle. Two times. And just like the beginning. String number two. We're going to do finger number three, fret number three. Twinkle. Just like the beginning, exactly. String number one. Little. Star. You're back to string number two, finger number three, fret number three. So, twinkle, twinkle, little star. Exactly the same as the beginning. How I... What is that? Finger number one, fret number one, string number two. <laughs> How I... Now take it off there and hit number two twice. Wonder, string number three, finger number two, fret number two, what you, now finger, or string number three, <laughs> Arr. and that's the whole song, so that whole part at the end was, twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I That is the whole song. That's one of my favorites too, and it's one of the easiest. So go back and start from the beginning, learn each little part, put it together, and come back and play the whole thing and sing it with me, okay? I'll wait for you. Yep, that's me waiting. Mm, I'm still waiting. What time is it? Uh, I don't know how to tell time yet. I will someday though. I know it's getting late because it's getting dark. Just a little bit. You guys want to look around and see around me? Look, there's that waterfall you hear. Check that out. Let's see, you can see out here where I live. This is out in Nevada. Okay, so if you ever want to see Nevada, <laughs> here's my backyard in Nevada. <laughs> okay. I think we've horsed around long enough. You guys have had time to go back and learn it all. So we're going to sing it together. Here we go. I'm going to count you in. That's how the big crows say it. Let me scoot my stool back so you can see all of me. And you can see my picking hand. Remember, keep your hand down there. Keep it anchored down. <laughs> keep it on your guitar, but not on top of your strings. So, one, two, three, four. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star.
without my singing, okay? Let's try to do it with just the guitar. See if you can sing, but sing in your head. Quiet so nobody can hear you sing. Okay, so it's just you and the guitar this time. Here we go. One, two, three, four. There you go. And we can end it by going. <laughs> now you guys did great, man. That's awesome. Like I said, that's one of my favorite songs. Let's do a Christmas song. We'll do a Christmas song called Joy to the World. Okay? So, we'll just learn to play this one. If you know the words, you can sing it. But this here is a... I saved this one for last because it's the hardest one. Okay? Here's how the whole thing goes. That has a lot to it. Okay, so I expect you to take a lot of time on this because it's going to take a lot of time. But it's always nice to pull this song out and play it for all your family on Christmas. Okay, so you got to have a Christmas song. So by the next Christmas, I want you to be able to come out and play this for everybody, okay? Gather around the tree and learn to play this one. Again, this is called Joy to the World. Okay, and we'll just learn how to play this one. Um, your parents or anybody, whoever uh, knows the song, they can teach you the words to it. Uh, and it goes like this. We're going to start on string number one. We're going to play a lot of notes we haven't played before. No, uh, just basically notes on string number one. They're going to be just like they always were on string number two. Okay, but we're going to play so string number one. We're going to start with our third finger on the third fret, okay, on string number one. So it'll sound like that. Okay, so everything's going to be one note, and everything's going to keep changing all the time. So see how that is? There's fingers flying everywhere. So string number one, fret number three, finger number three. Then, finger number two, fret number two, same string. And then, string number one, open. Open means you don't have any fingers on it. Or play, this fing or play the string all by itself. So you have three, two, open, or zero. <laughs> and O starts for, with the word open. If you can spell, it's open. The word open starts with the letter O. <laughs> Makes sense, huh? So we got three, two, open. All on string number one. And that's where we actually got to make a little pause. So that will be string number two. You've done this one a million times. With finger number three, fret number three. <laughs> okay, so we have... So nothing's moving, just your little little wrist is moving or your thumb and finger. Don't get that arm going or you're going to be going. And then we got a mess. So keep it real simple. So can you play that?
That's actually joy to the world. The Lord has come. Okay, this is how this goes. So, and that's where you want to kind of take a pause. Okay, that's going to be our first four notes. And that's where the song kind of pauses in there. Joy to the world, the Lord has come. Okay, so that's how it's done. So we do take a pause on the fourth note. Okay, so that's how fast it's played. Now the next notes are four more notes. We play on our second string, finger number one, fret number one. So you got that note? So we just play it one time. All these are only going to make you pick one time. And then open, which means take it off there, and that's string number two. Now we're going to move to string number three. Guess what? Finger number two. Fret number two, just like always. Play it one time, and then open. That means take everything off, right? And play string number three again. So the last four notes were... So we had two open notes. Again, open notes are when you're playing nothing with this hand, the hand that does all the fretting. So we got... One, open, two, open. So from the beginning, put them together. Oh, so we got four notes, then four more notes. Remember to pause after the fourth note. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay? So, and the words here are joy to the world. The Lord has come. Okay? So for the rest of that, the next part is Okay. Okay, here's how we play that. Again, string number two. We're going to be doing finger number three. Fret number three, what a surprise. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay, just the one time. And then an open string number one. Twice. Okay. Okay, finger number two, fret number two on string number one. Twice, and then finger number three, fret number three. Still on string number one. Okay, so that part. Again, string number two, fret number three. Open on string number one, twice. Twice. Okay. Again. And that's how it sounds. Okay, back from the beginning we have... Pause. Pause. And that's how it sounds. See if you can uh, work on that for a little while. Come back and help me play that much. Okay, and here we go. One, two, three, four. Pause. Pause. Okay, very good. Okay. Here comes the hardest part of the song, which goes... Okay, that sounds crazy, don't it? 
but it is all the same notes we've been playing, just a different order. <laughs> okay, so this is. So we have to play it once, and then we play it again. Okay, so we only have to learn it once. <laughs> okay, we've done all these notes before. We're on string number one, finger number three, fret number three. So the first one that you play, this finger number three, fret number three, three. see if I can uh, talk right. I have braces on, see? Mm. <laughs> so they get in my way of talking sometimes. So the first note gets played twice. Then finger number two, fret number two, on your first string still. what we're playing. Two times, one time on fret number two, then open. All these are on string number one. Okay. Now we're going to play on string number two for the rest of these. This one is finger number three, fret number three. It gets hit twice. And then we do so twice. Finger number one, fret number one, still on string number two. Just one time, and then open. Okay, so we have. That's how you play it, that's how it sounds. That is what is actually called phrasing, the way it sounds. Just like if you were singing it. Okay, so that's, that's just what it's called, why? Who knows? Who cares? We're here to play guitar. <laughs> um, so you phrase it like this. Then you do it again. Okay? So that's it for that part. Okay? So from the beginning, we have... We just learned twice. Okay. And now for the next part. Let heaven and nature sing. Let heaven and nature sing. Okay. It's very easy. You were on string number two. Open. Let heaven and nature sing. So the words are, let heaven and nature sing. So you play all these open on string number two. Let heaven and nature sing. So you do the first part of the word nature, still open. So let heaven and nature sing. You know these notes. Finger number one, fret number one. Finger number three, fret number three are the other two notes. Everything's done on string number two. So, let heaven and nature sing. Now you see I did something different here. Let heaven and... Okay, I actually went up for the one time to, with my pick. Let heaven and nature sing. So it's right here. Let heaven. So on the word, on the word heaven, the second part where it says ven, your pick actually comes up. Let heaven and nature sing. Every, everything else is still down like normal. Let heaven and nature sing. Reason we do that because it actually flies by really fast when we're doing it at speed. It goes let let heaven and nature sing. So. It almost sounds like a horse galloping. So that's why we do that, so we can hurry up and pick it really fast. Let heaven and nature sing. Let heaven and nature sing. Because heaven is a fast word. Let heaven and nature sing. Okay, so here we go. Just had to point that out to you. It's the only time we'll do that. Let heaven and nature sing. 
Actually, it's in the next line too, because it's the same words, just different music. So, let heaven and nature sing. Let, let heaven and nature sing. Is the next line. Okay, this is kind of weird. Okay, we start here for the next part of this. String number two, fret number one, finger number one, number one. Let. I know the word let is just one word, but for some reason it has two sounds. Let heaven and nature sing. Let. <laughs> okay, so finger number one, fret number one, string number two. Let. So then you go from one to open on string number two. Let. Now we're going to do our little heaven and nature sing. So we're going to do our heaven and nature up and down with our pick to try to get it to go faster. So let. Then finger number two, fret number two on our th string number three. Heaven and nature. So we're going to do half of the word nature. Heaven and nature sing. Now we're almost done, believe it or not. <laughs> this is a hard one. So again, let heaven and nay. So heaven and nay. Five times we hit that note. Heaven and nay. Or one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Sing. So then we do, after that, heaven and nature is string number two, open, and then finger number one, fret number one, sing. So let, let heaven and nature sing. Okay, so, so far from the very beginning, joy to the world. and we'll be done <laughs> okay so here's the next part like I said keep going backwards and catch all this stuff put it all together um, at your own pace okay so you do it when you want to but put it all together like a puzzle okay so we just got done heaven and nature sing So now we go, which is string number two open. So, living in nature, sing. Oh, yeah, so string number two open. String number three gets finger number two, fret number two, one time, and then open string number three. Sounds like three blind mice. Three blind mice. Three blind mice. How they run. See how they run. You can figure all these out by yourself. I know you can. You know all these notes already. You can play almost any song you want knowing these notes. And I want you to do that. <laughs> um, we'll get to that in a second. So. Let heaven and nature sing. Those are the words. Let heaven and nature sing. It's a lot of notes for so few words. <laughs> okay, so again, open string number two. Let. Okay, so it's string number two open. String number three here at fret number two. Then string number three open. Then we immediately jump up to string number one. Finger three, fret three. Okay, so it goes, let it and then it goes open on string number one. So, so, 
Is, of course, everything we've done the same. Three on string number two, fret number three. One on one, and open. Okay, so after the. So we got three, one, open, then one on string number two. One, open. Two on string number three, and then open on string number three, and we are done! <laughs> okay, so that last part is Let heaven and nature sing. That's the whole song. So if we put it together really fast, I'll play it for you the way it's really supposed to go, okay, which is like this. goes by that fast. I don't expect you to get it fast right away. You'll get it when you get it. <laughs> that's what it's all about. Okay, so that's how it goes. Go back, work on it, and then come right back to here, and we'll go through it one time, and we'll be out of here, okay? I'll show you a couple little fun things, but then we'll be out of here. Okay, here we go, together. So we got uh, joy to the world together. I'll count. I'll sing part of it. You can sing with me. Uh, parts that I don't sing, you can sing them if you know the words. Okay, so here we go. One, two, three, four. Joy to the world. Up. So we'll start again. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Joy to the world. singing it all. Two, three, four. all these notes that you've been learning, you can play a whole lot of songs. Um, think of songs that you uh, might want to do, like... Um, God, I was doing the Three Bind Mice thing ago. See. I can't remember how it went now. <laughs> Christmas songs. Anything you guys can actually think of. Um, 
that's an old country song. Uh, <laughs> um, old people might recognize it from an old movie. Um, but there's so many things you can come up with with all these notes I showed you. Uh, they're such easy notes, and you can come up with so many songs, okay? So those are all the notes that you have learned. It's all those notes I played. It's just a matter of what order you put them in, okay? I'm going to actually sneak down here. If you hear something cracking, that's probably my knees, because like I said, I'm an old man. <laughs> so again, hi, I'm Scott. I know. Uh, the guitar is supposed to be fun to play. Don't make it a chore. Don't make it a workout, okay? <laughs> play it when you can, but once you actually start to get good at it, you're going to want to learn to play more. So come back and see me when you're ready for to learn some more, okay? Um, get good on your little guitar, and before you know it, you'll have, you know, a big person's electric guitar and be jamming, or, or maybe you just want to play nice, pretty music. But don't forget... Even on a little guitar, such as this, you can actually play really, really, really good music. Okay? I think we get that, got this at a garage sale for a dollar on this guitar. But my wife, she bought it, and we lucked out. It ended up being a wonderful guitar. So you can play all kinds of pretty music, e even with a little guitar. So once again, I'll get back down here. My name is Scott. Don't forget to go out there and get yourself a guitar tuner. Let somebody tune your guitar for you until you get good at it, okay? But in the meantime, have fun, practice on those songs, get good at them. And uh, I bet once you get really, really good, you'll get even a cooler, better guitar, okay? So, have fun with those. I hope you enjoy playing the guitar. It's a lot of fun if you stick with it, okay? Don't let the little hurt things <laughs> discourage you or uh, make you not want to play because the hurt goes away. Like I said, the more you play, the faster the hurt goes away. <laughs> okay, so I'm Scott. Bye, guys. Have fun.